In this video, you will learn about our new REST connector and how to use it with both ClickSense and ClickView. Representational State Transfer, or REST, is designed to work best over the web and is easily accessed by using Uniform Resource Identifiers, or URIs, which are typically represented as common web links. The resources are acted upon by using a set of simple, well-defined operations specified by the REST service and its defined query parameters. The Click REST connector provides a means for the Click platform to efficiently load data into a ClickView or ClickSense application from a REST service that returns data in XML, CSV, or JSON format. The metadata returned is then used to select specific tables and fields to be loaded into the Click data model. For example, to simply get stock information for the symbol CLICK, I can use this free RESTful service provided by Market On Demand. Note the structure of the call. It looks like a regular link that you would use to access a website and has corresponding query parameters, in this case, symbol. If I paste this into a web browser, I get results back in the form of XML, which typically can be parsed and integrated using a variety of programs and APIs. With the Click REST connector, the Click products receive the results and then automatically parse them into appropriate table and field structures that can be easily selected, ready to be used with the Click application's data model. Let me show you how this works with a simple example. The REST connector is available as a single installation package, which when installed works both for ClickView and ClickSense. After it is installed, it will be available in the connector list. In this example, I will use ClickView to obtain the stock quote information from the RESTful service. So to get started, I already have the REST service request available here in the address bar of the browser. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to switch over to ClickView where I already have a very simple application created just containing a table that's going to contain the columns pulled back from the REST service. So inside ClickView, I'm going to select Control E and go into the data load editor. And then once in the data load editor, you'll notice under database, there should be a drop-down list. And here is where you select your various connectors. After the installation of the REST connector, you will have a QV REST connector.exe. By selecting that, you now have the ability to connect to a RESTful service by selecting connect. And now you have a location for the URL. So this is a simple example. It's not one that covers authentication. There are additional examples provided in the documentation that I will review towards the end of this video. So in the input box where we have URL, I'm going to paste in the URI. And you see we have symbol equals click here. You can leave that if you want, but we have a location to put query parameters. So I'm going to cut that out and remove the question mark. I'm going to leave the method as get. Again, refer to the documentation for more information on these parameters. We're not using any Windows authentication. And then we have our query parameters. So here, I'm actually going to put in symbol, take out the value of click. And in the value section, I'm going to type in click. You can click the plus symbol here to add more query parameters. Click test connection. We have a successful test. Click OK. Click OK. And it'll insert the connect statement. The next step is choose the select button. And this basically will interpret the returned format. You can see we have XML, CSV, or JSON. And now we have the ability to select the object from the response, in this case, stock quote. And you can see all of the fields that have come back from that. If I choose stock quote here, it'll generate a preview of the script in the bottom. And then we can choose which fields we want. In this case, I don't want status, so I'm going to uncheck that. Click OK. And you can see it generates the appropriate load script. Now all we have to do is click Reload, click OK, and there is our table with the data that has come back from the RESTful service for the stock symbol click. Before we wrap up, I wanted to show you that there are more advanced examples available with the provided documentation. It covers a variety of REST connectivity with various social media APIs such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google. These examples assume some knowledge of basic REST API usage and walk you through the setup to connect and retrieve data from these services using the REST connector. To learn more about Click and its other products, please visit our website at click.com or join the conversation 
on the Click community. Thanks for your time.